2011, Honda came out with a predecessor to the legendary TRX. It was this car, the 2011 TRZ. Sales did so bad that it eventually got discontinued in 2016. It wasn't because it was a bad car. In fact, it's a great car. It was just marketed completely wrong. Now this car was marketed as a sport compact hybrid, 1.5 liter four cylinder engine with 122 horsepower and only 39 miles per gallon highway. I drive a Toyota Prius and when I tell people that, they automatically give me this look like, really? The Prius just gets a bad rep and I can understand that. Before I owned one and started driving one, I, I kind of looked down on them. This car is no exception to that. At the end of the day, this is still a hybrid vehicle. And it's not the first thing you think of when you think of high performance sports car. If you're a fan of Honda, you know how popular a K-Swap is. DC2s, EGs, EKs, and even old school preludes are now being K-Swapped. If you're like me and you're in the market to K-Swap something, you might want to look at the CRZ. So before we go on and talk about the motor, I want to talk about the interior. This interior is fire. It's got everything kind of pointed towards you and it just screams that it, it's a sports car. Again, minus the motor, a lot of things about this car just screams sports car. If you look at the seat, there's a manual handbrake. It's a two-seater for crying out loud. But even with that, it doesn't really feel like it, it's a two-seater. I have to look back sometimes and I have to remind myself that this car only has two seats. It's so roomy. It's got so much space, especially considering the hatch. And being what it is, it's, it's just so, it's so light. Without the hybrid badge, or not really knowing what the car was, just from looking at it, I would think, at minimum, it would have a K-Swap, but it didn't. It didn't. Honda put a hybrid in here and called it a sport compact hybrid. I read somewhere that this car actually shares the same chassis geometry as the most hated Honda Civic Type R, the FN2. But this chassis is super stiff. It makes me wonder why people actually hate the FN2. Is it because it's the ugliest car? Because this chassis, when I took it to the mountains, it took everything I threw at it and that was in the wet. I feel like if it was dry, I would have been able to like really push this car that much harder. But that being said, this is still considered a hybrid. In 2011, a small shop from Florida took this car from the dealership with zero miles and dropped a case swap in it. This is that car that we're looking at right now. So what we're looking at is the K20Z3 from an eighth gen Honda Civic Si. This is the six speed K20 with the LSD. I don't know much about the K20, K24s, but I know the one with the LSD is probably the one that you want. LHC Performance in Florida did this swap because they knew that this is the motor that should have came with the car, not that 1.5 liter hybrid. Back in 2011, LHC Performance didn't have a company like Hasport to provide things like motor mounts. They actually made their custom motor mounts. They even made a custom header for this, this car. The whole exhaust is actually custom made. So that in and of itself speaks for what LHT was able to do. On top of all that, the AC still works. It's crazy the innovation that LHT came out with just to prove a point that this car should have came with the K20. But of course, the downside to the K20 swap is always the gas mileage. This is a hybrid after all, and now I can't brag about the 39 mile per gallon highway fuel efficiency, which really wasn't all that good to begin with for a hybrid. So there's really nothing to brag about there. Now they did come out with a supercharger and a turbocharger kit for the 1.5 liter hybrid. The problem is nobody really gives a shit about that motor. Also this, this front end is, is probably the ugliest thing at first sight. It's the ugliest thing I've ever seen in my life. But somebody on the forum once said, hey, you'll probably get used to it. And um, I kind of have, or maybe, maybe it's because I'm making this video about it. Who knows? All right, let's do this. Let's take out Sport Compact Hybrid out of the name. And let's take out the 1.5 liter IMA motor. Let's put in the K20.
and let's see how this car performs with the right motor and the right name. Let's just call it a CRZ. Matter of fact, let's call this the CRZ Type S or SI. CRZ SI. I think that might that might be more fitting. The CRZ SI. This car, this chassis. This chassis is a freaking monster, man. I mean, I am revving this to 8,000 RPM. It's not bouncing. The needle is not bouncing. And the power in this car, yeah, 200 horsepower, but if you think about the weight and what the car actually is, it's a two-seater front-wheel drive, and it just, it just makes more sense that this car should have came with a K. This chassis is phenomenal, and I, I can't, I can't speak highly enough of the CRZ's chassis. It's stiff. I know why Mugen tried to track this car and in a sense the track is where the CRZ belongs, not really on the highway as a hybrid. In my honest opinion, why make a hybrid and then release a turbocharger or a supercharger? Like that kind of defeats the purpose of a hybrid. There's no, I just don't think there's a market for sport compact hybrids. If you had just called this a CRZ SI or just a CRZ, CRZ, put a K in it. The want for this car would have been better. Sales wouldn't have done as bad in my opinion. You can't put hybrid and sports car. It just doesn't, doesn't equate in my opinion. But the CRZ as a sport compact sports car, oh yeah. All day. At first, I didn't understand this car. I just didn't get it. Like, why put a K into this chassis? Why not put a K in just a CRX? Why not put a K in, in a DC2 or, a, or an EK or an EG? Like they always do, right? Why is there a select few for putting Ks into the CRZ? If you go on, on the forums, there's, there's a handful of people who are putting Ks into the CRZs. But I started driving one, and then I took it to the canyons. I took it on some windy roads, and I'm practicing braking, I'm practicing uh, heel toe, blipping the, blipping the throttle, uh, downshifting. I'm practicing my aggressive driving in this car with the high RPMs. I'm trying to feel out where the VTEC kicks in. And the more and more I drive this car, <laughs> the more and more I fall in love. I thought I would be missing a turbo. I really thought that. And I thought I'd be missing all-wheel drive from my Focus RS. And the funny thing is, there's a saying, slow cars are more fun to drive fast than fast cars. This car with the K, it does not feel like a slow car. In fact, in the canyons, it feels like a really, really fast car. Uh, if you keep the RPMs high, it goes. You point and shoot. This is a point and shoot car. And more people should be looking at this car. <laughs> that really takes me to my point of why this car should be under your radar. If you're looking for an EG, if you're looking for an EK, looking for a CRX, I would argue even a DC2. And you want a case swap, one of those cars. Finding a clean example of a CRZ 
at a really good deal, it's not going to be as hard as looking for those cars. The people who have bought this car are probably moms, dads, grandpas, people who are looking for an economy vehicle, a hybrid. And once you drop a K in it, I'll tell you what, K, K is the way. <laughs> K is definitely, it's the way, it's the way to go. Now, my goal is not to try to get you guys to not buy the EGs or the EKs or the DC2s. My goal really here is to let you know that there's a CRZ out there for you. And if you're already looking to try to spend 10, 12, 13, 14, $15,000 on a K swap, and you don't want to spend another nine, ten thousand dollars on a clean example of one of those old school classic legendary Hondas, you might save some money and get a really, really awesome, well put together car like the CRZ right here behind me. That was K Swap by LHT Performance. That's what I got, but you don't have to take my word for it. I do ride motorcycles at the end of the day, but I'm telling you. K swap TRZ. It's it's the next big thing. It's the next big thing. Also, if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing and uh, sharing, so uh, the values of these can go up too. <laughs>